Have you ever asked yourself, why do people abuse animals? Well, I have, and I realized that there are three groups. Unintentional abusers, intentional abusers, and cruel intentional abusers. Unintentional abusers don't really notice that they are abusing their animal. For example, you might forget to feed your cat water for a few days. Some people try to discipline their animal in a cruel way. They tend not to realize that it makes the animal mean and might get cruel to others. Most people make this group up group of abusers, which means that they can be taught a different way to treat their animal and can be taught bas basic education. The next group of abusers, unintentional abu intentional abusers, do hurt the animals on purpose, but never for a long time. This group is mostly young people. Most just aren't thinking and may be mad and kick the animal. Some might like the way a animal looks when it gets scared, but don't think of how the animal feels. This is really serious when somebody is intentionally hurting an animal. But it's good to be supportive of that person when they're learning how others feel when you do something, like when you do something wrong. This last group, her animals a lot her animals a lot worse and they are called cool intentional abusers they feel powerful when they do it these people mostly want control all these kind of people suffer a serious psychological problem if you ever see any of these kind of abuse going on, please contact the authorities. Now that you know unintentional abuse, intentional abuse, and cruel intentional abuse is, help try to prevent it from happening anymore.